For this one, I want to find um, this area that's shaded in blue. Now, we do know that um, the area beneath the curve is given by the integral, so we just need to think about how we're going to set up our integral. Um, we can very clearly see here that the bounds of our integral um, on the x-axis, they go from this line, which is at x equals 0, uh, to this other line, which is at x equals 2. So given that we have our boundaries, we just need to think about the equations themselves. Um, I do want this blue part, and how I get it is I'm going to consider the whole area beneath the pink curve, right? Um, which is this whole stuff over here from 0 to 2. Now, clearly, I don't want this whole bit. Um, I do have to remove a part of it, right? I do have to remove this lower part, which just so happens to be the area beneath the blue curve. Um, so to get the area that I want, which is just the part that I've drawn in yellow, I'm going to take the area beneath the pink curve and then um, subtract the area beneath the blue curve. So now I can set up my integral, right? It is the upper curve, so the area from 0 to 2 of um, x plus 2 dx, and then minus the integral from 0 to 2 um, of 1 over x plus 1 dx. Now, I've just broken these um, into 2 instead of expressing it as 1, because it will be easier to integrate it with u substitution. Um, so for the first one, I'm just going to do a simple u substitution, where u is equal to x plus 2, and du is equal to dx. And I'm going to do the same for the other one, except I'm going to say that u is equal to x plus 1, and then du is just equal to dx. So I'm going to put back my substitution, um, that is from 0 to 2, the integral of square root, and where, wherever I had x plus 2, I'm just going to put u, um, and then du, minus the integral from 0 to 2 of 1 over u d u. Now, all I did was just substitute it. Uh, and now I can integrate it using um, the reverse power rule and also using the uh, logarithmic integration. So u, uh, square root of u is just u to the one half, right? So when I integrate it, I am going to have u. Um, one half plus one is Actually, I'm just going to put this so that it's easier to follow, plus uh, 1, so that's plus 2 over 2, um, all over 1 half plus 2 over 2, right, from 0 to 2. And then this is minus uh, u to the negative 1. This is just the ln of u when I integrate it. Minus ln, and we cannot forget our absolute value sign here because we don't, we can't have the um, ln of a negative number from zero to two. So now I'm just going to um, substitute back our values for u, and then just apply our boundaries. Um, so this is u to the one half plus two over two. This is uh, u to the three halves times 2 over 3, right? Um, and then I'm just going to substitute it back in. So u is equal to x plus 2. So let me just change this. This is x plus 2. And I ran out of space there. Um, from 0 to 2. And then minus ln of x plus 1 from um, 0 to 2. So when we apply these boundaries... Uh, on the left, we do have 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4, right? So 2 thirds times 4 to the power of 3 halves. Um, and then when we put minus the lower boundaries, minus 2 thirds times 0 plus 2, which is just 2 to the 3 halves. And on these, the other side, we do have minus ln. Um, 2 plus 1, which is 3. And then minus minus, we do have a plus. Plus ln of 0 plus 1, which is ln of 1, which is 0. 
Um, but I'm going to write this so that we can keep track of what we did. Um, so once we have this, all we need to do now is just compute the boundaries. Um, so this is 4 to the power of 1.5, um, which is 8, times 2 thirds, which is um, 16 over 3. So 16 over 3. And then minus 2 to the 1.5, um, minus 2 thirds. And then this is just times 2 square root of 2, right? Which is 2 to the 1.5. Um, and then minus ln 3 plus 0. So when we, um, when we clean this up a little bit, we can say that this is uh, 16 over 3 minus 4 square root of 2 over 3 minus ln of 3. Um, and this is the analytic part of the answer. And if you did want to get an approximation, um, let me just put this in my calculator. This would give you, let's see, 16 over 3 minus ln of 3. This would give you approximately 2.349. Um, and that's it for this exercise.